It's spring out here. There's lots of activity. <laughs> so cool. It's so cool. There are a few deer up on the ridge line up there and they're like frolicking and playing. The camera won't do it justice, but yeah, so just cool. Little teeny tiny shadows that are just kind of <laughs> bouncing along. Yeah. You can see them turn this way and then this way. It's really cool. It's kind of foggy this morning. Had a little rain yesterday. We're hoping for some April showers. And today is week one of no social media for mm. me. Yeah, this is Friday, so, first week. No Instagram, no Facebook for seven days so far. Um, I could say all the things that I noticed about myself, but have you noticed anything different? Well, I she's been really good at cooking and cleaning, but I don't know that those are differences. I mean, Thanks. you've been doing those already, so um, I feel like maybe we have a little bit more of a sense of focused energy in our house. I guess is the only thing I could say is like it feels like there's some intentional means that we're putting our phone down and reading and. Uh, just we got to spend two days without kids which is like rare and yeah. so I guess I can really feel your energy and your attention of, but the, in those moments we really would in other cases put the phone down as well so yeah but I really am feeling your I don't know your energy and your I don't know it feels intentional the house feels nice it feels sometimes it feels chaotic if there's so much going on and we're all going and everybody's rushing and I just felt like really a calm energy. Yeah, I feel a more calm energy. Um, yesterday, she was trying to show me something on Facebook on hers, and I was like, I don't think I even want to look at that. It's making me already anxious feeling. And I didn't even think of that. Like, oh, here, look at this. And she's like, I don't even want to see it. I was like, oh, my okay, gosh. I'm yes, detoxing. I'm, so I'm going to relapse. No, I'm just so sorry. I didn't even think about it. And it was so non-significant. It was like, oh, yeah, duh. You don't need to be looking at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's been a nice little break and I've been able to take a couple classes online, some free classes through University of Arizona um, and then Santa Cruz. So, yeah, yeah. It's making the most of it. Um, I'm almost finished with another book. Watching her read her books is I love to read and she's not been reading as much because she's been so busy with everything else going on and she's reading. And... Yeah, I'm excited to crack into a new book today so taking notes just wearing away <laughs> like little student again I'm like a, I don't know it feels nice to just any sort of change is good and I feel the energy in the house as much as anything it just when she's happy everybody's happy and I really that's what I've always encouraged like we've got to find our own happiness within whatever we're doing myself included yeah. sometimes I get bogged down with my own work and get grumpy just to remind me as well this isn't just <laughs> A brand new thing. I definitely get focused in what I'm doing, so it's hel it's a healthy reminder for both of us to stay focused. And when we are together in like the community spaces of the house, it's like stay focused, stay positive. Don't bring that negative energy in here. If you're mm -hmm. having a bad day at work or whatever, shake it off and leave it out. Like this is a good healthy space, and we want to keep it that way. But it takes intention. Yeah. yeah, not every day can be like a perfect good day just because you want to manifest that you still have to do the hard work of I mean there's been a couple tears and stuff where I'm like why am I crying and I'm like <laughs> just sitting there trying to write out a timeline of events that have happened in my life um, thinking about maybe putting together some sort of autobiography just for my own mind because I forget dates and places and times so much that it would be nice to be able to have something to reference um, because I'm already having trouble remembering dates so I can imagine 20 30 years from now um, but just sitting there and doing that work I'm finding there's a lot of things that I have just not addressed in my life that I'm just like that's fine we're moving on and it kind of comes up when you free yourself of all those distractions you're like wow there are some things that I really need to take care of you know not to get too specific but yeah it's been good 
There's also fun things we need to remember to add to our timeline that we've done together too. So I was like, hey, don't yeah. forget this little trip and don't forget when we did this. Yeah. So those are fun things to add too. And we're, she was showing me her timeline yesterday. I was like, oh, look at all of those cool things. Yeah, I was like, I went to this sort of concert in 20, in 2000, in the year 2000. She's like, oh, I think I went to that too, but in a different spot, so. Yeah, she was in Seattle and I was in Portland. <laughs> I was like, that is so strange. So, yeah, just. Good morning, bird. <laughs> I can hear that one. <laughs>